Cement is a binder, a substance that sets and hardens and can bind other materials together. Cement is essentially a binding material used for making concrete, which in turn the basic material for building dams, bridges and other construction works. The two major types of cement are ordinary Portland cement and Portland Pozzolana cement. And other different types are sulfate resisting cement, rapid hardening cement, oil well cement, masonry cement, Portland blast furnace slag cement, super sulfate cement, high alumina cement, white grade cement, and hydrophobic cement. The manufacture of cement is a very carefully regulated process comprising the following stages. A mixture of limestone and clay is known as quarrying. The limestone and clay with water to form slurry is called grinding. The slurry to a very high temperature in a kiln to produce clinker is known as burning and the clinker with about 5% gypsum to make cement is known as cooling or final grinding. This is overall flow diagram of manufacturing process of cement. First, excavator is putting limestone in the preheater tower and then crusher is crushing the limestone and then secondary crusher is also crushing the limestone in smaller particles and send it to the proportioning equipment where sand and clay are mixing with limestone and then the mixture of clay, limestone and sand sent to the grinding mill. After grinding, grinding mill sent it to the preheater tower and preheater tower heating the mixture of clay, limestone and sand and send it to the kiln where high temperature is required to form the mixture into clinkers. And now gypsum is added to the clinkers and then at final stage granuling and packing are held. And let's discuss the different machines in the manufacturing of cement process and in the cement industry. Crushing plant. The crushing plant receives limestone from mines and in two stages operation crushes it into size of 12 mm. There are two crushers, primary crusher of L and T double toggle jaw crusher and secondary crusher of Economer hammer crusher. Crushers have capacity of 100 to 130 ton per hour and are driven by 132 kilowatt motors. And there are different crushers are shown in the figure. Let's discuss apron feeder. Apron feeders are designed for uniform and regulated feed of loose and lump materials from feed bin to crushing aggregates and transporters of different types. The capacity of apron feeder is approximately 150 ton per hour. And then jaw crusher. Jaw crusher is also named jaw breakers, rock crusher or rock breaker. Jaw crusher is mainly used to primarily and secondly crusher. Many kinds of mining rocks and the highest anti-pressure strength of crushed material is 320 MPA means mega pascal. Jaw crusher has simple structure, reliable working condition, easy maintenance and low operating costs. High crushing ratio even final particle size products. Deep broken cavity, no dead zone and increased capacity. And safe and reliable lubrication system. Convenient replacement parts and the discharging size of jaw crusher can be adjusted to meet the user's different requirements. And in working principle of jaw crusher, the motor drives the movable jaw plate to do periodic motion towards the fixed jaw plate by the eccentric shaft. The angle between toggle plate and movable jaw plate increases when movable jaw plate moves. So the movable jaw plate moves towards the fixed jaw plate as shown in the figure. And the material between movable jaw plate and the fixed jaw plate will be crushed in this process. The angle between toggle plate and movable jaw plate 
decreases when movable jaw plate moves down the movable jaw plate move leaves fixed jaw plate by pulling rod and spring the final crushed material will be discharged from the outlet the capacity of jaw crusher is approximately 130 tons per hour as discussed in the previous slide and now hammer crusher hammer crusher is a kind of machine widely used in crushing medium hardness material such as limestone slag coke and coal in cement chemical industry electric power and metallurgy etc basically hammer crusher broken materials mainly rely on impact as shown in the figure where ring hammer crusher are operating if we discuss the working principle of hammer crusher the main working part of the crusher is the rotor with hammer rings the rotor is consisted of hammer ring shaft and the ring hammer etc the rotor driven by motor rotates at a high speed in the crushing chamber the materials are conveyed into the chamber from the top inlet then impact by the high speed rotating hammer ring thus crushed squeezed ground among the materials and finally achieved the goal of crushing at the bottom of the rotor there are great plates equipped the crushed materials which smaller than the great hole size can be discharged through the great plate while the larger ones will be crushed by the hammer ring till the required size and be discharged the capacity of hammer mill is 130 tons per hour and also depends on the size of hammer crusher and vibrating screen or dsm screen is set the function of dsm screen is to only pass the particles with size of not more than 12 mm it consists of vibration damper of 6 to 12 mm after the screen there is placed a dust collector and then in handling raw material section with the help of rolling belt systems the crushed limestone is arranged in piles by stacker and stored the stored limestone is reclaimed from yard by the help of reclaimer the reclaimed limestone is conveyed to the raw mill through belts and then a raw mill section is used to grind raw materials into raw mix during the manufacture of cement The raw milling stage of the process effectively defines the chemistry of the finished cement and has a large effect upon the efficiency of the whole manufacturing process. And in decanter and DP tank calcium hydroxide sludge available from acetylene plant is pumped into the decanter. The decanter is a large tank with a diameter of 20 meter. It is operated on recirculation till sludge of 68% to 69% moisture is reached in the outlet. The decanter sludge is then pumped into DP tank and there are two such tanks having capacity of 600 meter cube per hour approximately or more. And in the given figure decanter tank and DP tank is shown. And the next part in the raw mill is feeder. The feeder is a ferris wheel driven by a variable DC drive. There are three hoppers in a raw mill building. One for the limestone received from the yard after proper blending. Second for high grade limestone used sometimes to prove the limestone content to the burnability or melting characteristics of raw mix the clinkerization section. A raw or ball mill is a horizontal cylinder partially filled with steel balls for or occasionally other shapes that rotates on its axis imparting a trembling and cascading actions to the ball. Material fed through the mill is crushed by impact and ground by attrition between the balls. The grinding media are usually made of high chromium steel and high steel. The smaller grades are occasionally cylindrical pebs rather than spherical. There exists a speed of rotation 
at critical speed at which the contents of the mill would simply ride over the roof of the mill due to the centrifugal action and different grinding balls are also shown in the figure a raw mill is driven by 750 kilowatt motors approximately that rotates the mill at 7 rpm approximately and the length of the mill is 13 meter and diameter is 2.25 meter both the compartments of mill are filled with grinding media apart from sludge and limestone in first the compartment high steel balls are put which are responsible for coarse grinding and a circular section called diaphragm which is having approximately 12 small screens at different periphery separates both the compartments and molasses is also added in raw mill it is required to increase the slow ability of the raw mix to the low moisture the molasses is shown in the figure below and in the process of raw mill the slurry mixer tanks having two arms on which air nozzles are fixed compressed air through these nozzles about 1.5 kg per cm3 approximately agitates the slurry and prevents it from becoming solid and from here the slurry is fed into kiln by slurry pumps and the next part in manufacturing of cement is kiln section a rotary kiln is a pyro processing device used to raise materials to a high temperature in a continuous process and this process is also known as calcination the basic components of a rotary kiln are the shell the refractory li- lining spot tires rulers and internal heat exchangers and the next part in the kiln section is the refractory lining the purpose of refractory lining is to insulate the steel shell from the high temperatures inside the kiln and to protect it from the corrosive properties of the processed material and then tiles and rulers in the kiln section sometimes called riding rings usually consist of a single annular steel casting machined to a smooth cylindrical surface which attach loosely to the kiln shell through a variety of chair arrangements and a drive gear in the kiln section is usually turned by means of a single girth gear surrounding a cooler part of the kiln tube but sometimes driven rulers turn in the gear is connected through a gear train to a variable speed electric motor and the next part in the manufacturing of cement is electrostatic precipitator an electrostatic precipitator esp is a filtration device that removes fine particles like dust and smoke from a flowing gas using the force of an induced electrostatic charge minimally impeding the flow of gases through the unit and the advantages of electrostatic precipitator esp are high collection efficiency low resistance path for gas flow treatment of large amount of gases at high temperature and ability of coping with corrosive atmosphere and the next and second last part in the manufacturing of cement is cement silos basically the cement silos are on site storage containers used for the storage and distribution of various types of cement mixtures the cement silos usually is equipped with some type of blower to help expel the stored contents into a truck or other acceptable vehicles and now the last part of in the manufacturing of cement is cement mill a cement mill is the equipment used to grind the hard nodular clinker from the cement kiln into the fine gray powder that is cement as we see in the cement packets in the shops or in our daily use and most cement is currently ground in ball mills and also vertical roller mills which are more effective than ball mills and for ordinary portland cement gypsum is added to the clinkers and for ppc portland pozzolana cement pozzolana is added to the clinkers 
Here the ball mill is filled with grinding media varying from 100 mm to 150 mm approximately in first chamber and in second compartment cylindrical pebbles slippers of 20 to 25 mm approximately is used. And the final plant in the cement industry is packing plant. Packing of cement is done by LNT rotary packing machine. And now the different modern machines for packing are also used. The cement is extracted from the selected silos and through slides. Cement is taken into bucket elevator and subsequently to the hopper just above the packer. Hope so this video will be informative for you. For more videos stay connected and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.